Bienvenue à Boulangerie Richard. Come on in. Ah, welcome back. Episode 2. Fudgy brownies. Let's see how we can make them today. Here's what you're going to need. This recipe I got from Entertaining with Beth. And I think you're going to find that this recipe will beat any recipe on YouTube. What you're going to need? Four ounces or 112 grams of semi-sweet chocolate. 12 ounces or 336 grams of bittersweet chocolate. You want at least 70% cacao. One tablespoon or 15 milliliters of vanilla extract. And that should be pure vanilla extract. Half a teaspoon, 2.5 milliliters of uh, instant coffee. That only is used to enhance the flavor of the chocolate. One cup, 240 grams of unsalted butter. Four eggs. One cup, 200 grams of sugar. Three quarters of a cup, nine, 90 grams of flour. In this case, all purpose. Half a teaspoon, 2.5 milliliters of salt. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. What you need to do is preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 Celsius. Now, let's uh, get on with making it. In a pot or in a pan, add your chocolate and butter. And on a low heat, begin to melt and combine the chocolates and butter together. At this stage, you can add your vanilla and coffee mixture together. The coffee you want to use is instant coffee. Get your four eggs and add them to the, uh, the cup of sugar. And combine them well. the mixture is well incorporated. Once you've received uh, achieve this uh, consistency. You want to set it aside, this to cool slightly. In a separate bowl, you want to add your 90 grams of flour, your baking soda, and salt. By the way, this recipe can be found on Entertaining with Beth on YouTube. So that's where you'll find the recipe on her uh, channel. Next, what you want to do is once the uh, chocolate has cooled down slightly, you want to get the sugar and egg mixture. Now what you want to do is slowly incorporate the chocolate mixture with the eggs and sugar. Now 
Now it's at this point, we add the flour, salt, and baking soda after we've given them a, a bit of a mix. Add a bit by bit. And ensure that they get well incorporated. As you will see on Beth's video, it's important to use the correct measurement of flour for your fudge brownie mixture. Put too much, it becomes a cake because you want a fudgy texture. So you put the exact amount of that as set. To pour your fudgy brownie in, it's transferred to an 11 by 16 by 1 inch pan lined with parchment paper. Pour the batter into the pan and smooth it out with a spatula. So Get it right in the center and try to get it to all four corners so it gets an even spread. Then you want to make sure that your parchment paper is well above so that uh, should there be any overflow, it will be kept within uh, the pan. Plus, parchment makes it easier to remove the brownies when they have been cooked. Ensure that your oven is at 375. almost there. Now the key important part is this should bake for only 10 minutes. I repeat, 10 minutes if you want it to be fudgy. So set your timers, be it on your stove or in your kitchen uh, minutes is up. Let's have a look. Now you're going to say to yourself, boy, it smells chocolate, ch chocolatey. But uh, let it rest to cool down, and uh, the, you may say, after it cools down, can I eat it? Well, actually, you shouldn't. You should let it rest over the evening, cover it with uh, tin foil, and then uh, cut it up the next morning. That's when you'll get a much better flavored uh, brownie. So it should rest overnight. Until next time, thanks for watching and happy baking!